Black Beauty Black Beauty is a story about a handsome black horse who narrates the adventure of his carefree life as a colt on an English farm. The first place Black Beauty could remember well was a large pleasant meadow with a pond of clear water in it. Some shady trees leaned over it and water lilies grew at the deep end. Over the hedge on one side, Black Beauty and other horses looked into a ploughed field and on the other they looked over a gate at their master, Farmer Gray's house. While Black Beauty was young, he lived upon his mother's mill and as soon as he became old enough to eat grass, his mother would go out to work all day. There were six young colts in the meadow besides him who were older than him. All the young colts used to have great fun. They all used to gallop together round and round the field as hard as they could. Sometimes they had rather rough play, for they would frequently kick and bite as well as gallop. One day, when there was a good deal of kicking, Black Beauty's mother called him to meet her and told him that the colts who lived there were very good colts but were cart horse colts. Hence, they hadn't learned manners. On the other hand, Black Beauty was well-bred and well-born. His mother told him that his father had a great name in those parts and his grandfather had won the cup for two years at Newmarket races. Also, his grandmother had the sweetest temper of all the horses. Black Beauty's mother hoped that he would grow to be gentle and good, would never kick or bite even in play. Black Beauty never forgot his mother's advice. She was a wise old horse and her name was Duchess but was often called Pet by the master. The horse's master was a kind man. He gave them food, good lodging and kind words. All the horses were very fond of him and Black Beauty's mother loved him very much. The master lovingly addressed Black Beauty as Darkie because of his dull black color. The master gave Black Beauty a piece of bread and sometimes he brought a carrot for his mother. There was a ploughboy named Dick who sometimes came into their field to pluck blackberries from the hedge. When he had eaten all he wanted, he would throw stones and sticks at the horses to make them gallop. One day, Dick was at his game and didn't know that the master was watching from the next field. The master jumped over the hedge and caught Dick by his arm. He told Dick that this was not the first time, nor second, but it should be the last. He asked him to take his money and leave. Dick was never seen on the farm again. When Black Beauty was four years old, his second owner, Squire Gordon, came to see him. He examined Black Beauty well and in the end said, When he has been well broken in, he will do very well. Since everyone might not know what breaking in is, Black Beauty explained that it meant to teach a horse to wear a saddle and bridle, to carry on his back a man, a woman or a child. Black Beauty mentioned one part of his training which he considered a great advantage. His master had sent him for a fortnight to a neighboring farmer's meadow among cows and sheep, skirted on one side by the railway. There Black Beauty witnessed for the first time a train passing by with a rush and clatter, and he galloped to the further side of the meadow in fear and astonishment, seeing the cows eating quietly even when the black frightful thing came puffing and grinding past, he began to disregard it and soon he cared about it as little as the sheep and cows. Since then, Black Beauty became as fearless at the railway stations as in his own stable.